Good Friday evening to you. I'm meteorologist Delaney Worden. Looking out at our current radar, things much quieter than the past few days in terms of rain. Now we do have a few storms out there, but certainly nothing severe, not quite as active as it has been the past few days. We're first focusing in the highlands. We have had a few cells popping up near Falling Springs and just to the west of our area. These are not moving very much, but they could make their way into the far western portions of our area. Again, these are not severe either, but overall we are seeing some heavy rain in some of these cells heading back towards Amherst. We have a cell right around this area. The strongest of those cells just up to the north again, just dropping some heavy rain. Overall, we're not seeing much lightning with this, but overall the stronger cells might have some lightning, some gustier winds, but overall also that hail threat is going to be lower as we head back down to our south near South Boston. We are seeing a few cells, but those are weakening as well. We'll continue to track these, but what we're really keeping an eye on is actually off to our west. This was supposed to be what made its way into our area this afternoon and evening, but because of that cold front, it actually tracked a little bit further towards the southeast. So we're more in stable air as opposed to the unstable air where they are seeing those storms. So that's actually a good thing for your Friday evening. If you have any plans outdoors, not going to put too much of a damper on those plans. Our temperatures are mostly in the 70s and 80s this evening. The seeing those cooler temperatures where they are seeing some rain 77 in Lewisburg, Lexington in the mid 70s here in Roanoke 80 degrees. One of the warm spots is going to be at Smith Mountain Lake currently sitting at 84 degrees. Now for the rest of this evening, our future tracker showing a little bit more than what we're actually seeing out there, at least in our area. What we are going to continue to see is those overcast skies. We're keeping that tonight and into tomorrow morning as well. Tomorrow morning, you're starting your day off with a gloomy look outside. We're not seeing anything in terms of rain until we get a little bit further in the morning and even close to lunchtime, picking up some isolated showers at this point. I even think that our computer model showing a little bit more than what we're actually going to see, but we could have a few of those stronger cells. Uh, overall, the severe threat is going to be low again for tomorrow. And then as we go into the evening hours, those storms are fizzling out. Thanks to the setting sun, we're losing some of that instability. We're losing some of that heat. Now over the next few days, our rain chances are going down this weekend, really just isolated threats in the afternoon. Monday is when we're going to see that scatter chance come back into our area, but from there we're actually a little bit quieter. Our temperatures tonight will be falling down into the 60s. We're waking up to some patchy fog in the morning and then for your day tomorrow we will be seeing temperatures in the 80s as well as for your seven day forecast. We're starting the work week off with the low 80s because of that rain chance and then temperatures back to the upper 80s with more rain chances until we get to Friday.